So looking at Mark 11:17, Jesus said, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of thieves. So Jesus was addressing a situation where people were trying to make money out of religion and out of basically forcing people to buy their resources in order to offer the proper sacrifices to God. They were ripping them off with all kinds of money changing things and uh, forcing them to pay a little extra premium so people could make a living out of that and make some more money out of the people of God. But Jesus said that he didn't, you know, he didn't like that. In fact, he didn't just say it, he made a whip and drove him out. He called it being a thief. Now, what God really wants is for his church and his people to be a people of prayer. And when we gather together, we're gathering together to be a house of prayer for all nations. So that God wants all nations to be saved. Isn't it interesting that it says even in the Old Covenant, that God's house should be a house of prayer for all nations. I wonder how many times they prayed for other nations when they were in there. God always had this heart. Isn't it interesting that God can have a heart for something and then very few people take up what God has on his heart? And the same can happen today. God can have a heart for the nations and we don't have a heart for the nations, so we never pray for them. May the Lord help us to listen to his true intention which is that all could come to the knowledge of the truth. And some people are not in our own country, so we should pray that God will save people all around the world and we should devote ourselves to prayer. If there's one thing the church should be known for, it's to be a place of prayer. Let it be that we pray for people because we love people and we love God and we want to see Jesus get the reward of his suffering, which will only happen if we pray. So that's very important and may God help us to do that.